So in this video, we are going to create a billing alarm. It's really important to create billing alarms so you get notifications when your bill, your AWS account bill crosses some threshold like you may set up a billing alarm to notify you if your bill goes over $10 a month or $20 a month or if you're running a production workload then whatever your expected bill is you can set thresholds depending on that so first and foremost I'll go to CloudWatch and you if you click on billing over here it will tell you that you need to switch your region you need to be in US East to set up your billing alarms so I'll close it and go to US East region but also one other thing to notice is I'm inside my root account I am not in an, another user account or something like that you need to be in your root account so I will switch my region to North Virginia the other thing that you need to do is go to your billing dashboard go to preferences and click this receive billing alerts and then click on save preferences so once you click that you will be able to receive your billing al alerts without that you won't be able to receive your billing alerts and it also creates your billing matrix inside cloudwatch since we have been discussing about matrix a lot in cloudwatch and the other thing is once you enable it you cannot disable it so now i'll go to cloudwatch and go to billing and then create alarm and then i'm going to say if my total bill exceeds ten dollars for the month notify me so it will send me a notification to this email you can add uh, your email address by clicking on create and clicking on the new list and basically you can then click on create alarm but over here like I'm using a free tier and I have not used any other services outside the free tier so you see my bill is not too much this month but I'm still going to set the threshold is 10 so if my bill exits $10 I'll get a notification so I'm going to click on create alarm so right now it has insufficient data but after a while it will be okay because my bill is less than $10 for this month for the AWS services and the other thing you would notice is if you go to matrix you will see your billing matrix will appear over here so you can have your matrix by service uh, so you can see like for EC2 how much amount I have used or how much amount I spent this month or this week or you know how to navigate the graphs now and or you could just track your total estimate charges in US dollars since I'm in the United States right now so it's in US dollars and over here you can track your charges by month or by week or by days so this is how you set up billing alarms and billing preferences 